Um, so now these little uh, things, see, can you see me? I'm just rolling this out. And I like to start, hmm, I like to start at the, at the, like, curly cue part and then come in with the stem at the end. I can cut this a little shorter. I don't need that whole thing. And it's, it's a little tricky, but you just kind of put it down and push down as you go. Try and make it hook. I don't like that. It's too, um, there we go. Now I push down. I actually would like to make it a little bigger, but that's fine. And then I have all these tools. You know what? I have this little blade I can use. My hand's in the way. I'm sorry. But I'm going to put that right there. I think I'm going to make another one. Um, on the other side. I want to try and make it go. There, I got that rounder. I like that better. I want to try and make it go um, a different direction, too. That's the other thing. I tend to swirl them all the same way. And I want to try and swirl it the opposite way. Should I make it just go straight in between those? Yeah, I think that looks good. And I'm going to use my blade because actually the blade really cuts nicely. Right there. And then I just take that little tool and kind of smooth it into the clay. Just attach it and press down. That looks pretty. I'm going to put, I could put one more. Yeah, I think I will. So I'm just gathering up any little, um, this is tiny amounts of clay. And just roll out. Another little uh, swirly. Mm. Hmm. If you want to make it bigger, you have to kind of start closer. Here we go. I had coffee too, so I'm like all shaky. I could take a nap, but I still get shaky. All right, and then I'm gonna put a few little, um, I'm gonna take that pen and put a few, uh, I'm gonna just turn my light. I hope it's not bright, but I can't see as well as I'd like. So I really don't have any design on the background, so I'm just putting a little bit of something there and then I'm gonna make a few of these little um, balls these are tiny little accents one this is fun you guys <laughs> I'm enjoying it my husband just called actually while I was uh, getting this part ready and um, he said it's like nine, it was like oh, two degrees, two degrees did he say? And that's just crazy. I mean, it's cold in New Jersey today. Um, I went down to get the mail and our house is back kind of far and it was cold because I run and I'm not running today. It's way too cold to run for me and I have a dog and we usually, I walk her and I didn't take her today. It's too cold. Um, but not like Alaska. And Art and Sassy, Kara, her name is Kara. Oh, I, I know her last name and I can't think of it. Um, AK Caribou on um, YouTube. She, she does the Art and Sassy website and um, she lives in, I think, Anchorage. And I just couldn't, I don't, uh, I don't know. New Jersey's bad enough 
winters. All right, I'll stop chatting. We don't want to hear what I have to say. But I'm just adding these, and these just make, oopsie, sorry camera. These just make um, more texture. So, but these are cute. I'm liking this design. So, I don't know what I'll use these tiles for at the moment. I don't have anything in mind. I think I'm going to play with my Christy Friesen stuff next and make a steampunk whale, but I was just totally in love with her work. This um, Christina Capono, her name is, I think. Where is it? She's amazing. Christine Capono. Yep, Capono. So, I had to try it. Gorgeous. Alright. So, I'm going to color this. Do we have time? Should I color it and then show you how my other ones turned out. That's pretty cute. All right, I'll be done. Um, this leaf, stop. Why is my tripod not working? Let me try coloring this. Let's get some green. Do all the leaves green. I think it definitely like takes to the clay better with your finger. But I can't get in the nooks and crannies as, as well with my finger. So I'm going to use, um, you know what, I have some other colors in here. Maybe I just have a blue and like a, a russet. No, I'm going to just have to go with the pinks and purples for now. And you know what? They'll match when I, if I do a project, then they'll be kind of matching. So that'll be nice. The purple is not, you know what? I want to try my perfect pearls. I have a perfect pearls purple and I want to see the difference. So that was the, the pearl X or whatever. And here's the perfect pearls. It's basically the same thing. And I'm going to put some of that blue in the background and then just go over the whole thing with um, a little bit of gold here and there. I'll bet you the um, paints are far brighter. And I think you dry brush them on. That's what I think I remember hearing. Um, but that's pretty. Maybe I'll just hit it with a little pink too. Pink and purple. <sighs> and then a little bit of gold just around the edges. Let's see how that looks. Since I have gold on the other pieces, just kind of hit it here and there. Ta-da! All right, guys, I'll be back when they're done. Hello, it's Sarah. So I'm back. Actually, I, I'm going to splice these all together, but I'm really happy with how these turned out. Um, the purple on this one isn't as bright. I don't know why. Like this, I must have applied it differently or something, but I really love these with the leaves. These were kind of my design these turned out really pretty I hope you can see them and I need to look into getting some um, glass rhinestones because I would love to add those as well but I wasn't sure if mine were acrylic or glass and I'm afraid to put 
plastic in the oven if it's even though it's just like it's it's 275 I think the temperature I don't know it still could could melt these turned out really pretty though this is this one I like it um this one you know what I want to try something I'm gonna put this one I put rub and buff the silver rub and buff on all of the like swirly do things so I just wanted to oh this one I'm pretty happy with too I wasn't too sure about this, but I'm liking, I think I did the sand background on here, and I really like that, how that background turned out. It really catches the light. Putting the, you know what, I'm going to wipe this with the, with the wet wipe, because these just came out of the oven, but I said you can wipe them to get off all the powders off your gems, and then it comes up way more shiny. So I like that. I think that one turned out okay. Um, I'm going to... Um, which one out? Which other one was warm? This one. Because I wiped the other ones. These just came out. Um, just to get it off there. But I want to try the rub and buff on that purple one that wasn't quite... I mean, actually, this one. I think I need to put it... I, I hate it. Cause I, this is my favorite, and I really don't want to ruin it. But I think that it just... To match the other one, it might need to... Um, have a little silver. I don't know. Should I do it or not? I should do it on this one that I'm not really in love with. See, the rub and buff really takes onto anything that, like, so that ties in the silver. It really takes. I'm nervous. I don't want to ruin that. And this one looks good, too. But, like, this has the gold and the silver, so it doesn't, these don't really all play together. Ha ha ha, what should I do? What should I do? Because I really love these. They're gorgeous. I think I'm going to put it on here. Just gently, a little silver on the swirlies. The rub and buff goes a long way. You really only need a little bit. And that looks pretty. Didn't mess it up at all. I'm going to do it on this one too. Yeah, you just need a tiny bit. Just touch it, and then I'm actually going to wipe it on a paper towel, too, so I take some off. Because I only want to hit them a little bit. And then I'm going to go upload these, so I want to see what it looks like on cam on um, YouTube. Now they tie in, though. They tie in together. I like that better. All right, you guys, I've had fun, and I hope you did too. So I'm going to keep playing with my clay, and I'll let you know what I'm up to next. Thanks for watching.